Hello, everybody. Nice to see you guys. Just checking that uh, you can all hear me. And um, I'm excited. It's welcome to another Training Thursday. And um, today we are going to be talking about what day of the week is the best in clinic. Now, uh, I get all sorts of questions, loads and loads of questions, but this is one that stands out all the time. The other one that goes with it is uh, where should I put all of my money or where should I put all of my time or where should I put all of my effort in clinic? Um, should I have a space? Should I rent out another space? Should I go to multiple clinics? Happens all the time. So um, I wanted to address this question because when I answer this question, Sometimes I come up with a one word answer and I realized that it's just not doing uh, the question, um, the service that it needs. So we, we're going to dive deep today into the answers of what day of the week is best to uh, go into clinic. All right. So often this question comes from practice who uh, want to know where to spend their time, where to spend their, um, you know, small amount of money and if they're going to be renting in one place. And so to be able to make sure that you guys um, have the best use of your money or the best use of your time or the best use of your space, uh, we're going to come up with the one answer. But I wanted to explore it. <laughs> so... Um, Maybe you are beginning practice. And uh, when I first started out in practice, it was a really interesting time for me as well in that um, I had to decide how many days a week I would be in practice and which particular days were going to have the most people. It was like, okay, which days are going to have the most people because I want to work on that particular day, right? And if you're anything like me, you just want to know the answer. But unfortunately, it doesn't come that quickly and that easily. So the, um, the next thing that I did when I was sitting at this um, practically abandoned building in my little office was think about, hmm, um, I, I can imagine putting myself in my client's shoes or putting myself in, in um, you know, the people of Newcastle's shoes and uh, I would, I would want to come on a Saturday so the interesting thing was I opened on a Saturday and it was great, you know, it was super exciting. I got to tell everybody that I was open on a Saturday. I even got the occasional booking on a Saturday. But the majority of the time I was sitting there mulling over how much I was missing out on my kids' um, soccer games. I was mulling over how I had to juggle one week on, one week off so that I could go to um, my eldest. She was in gymnastics at the time. So it wasn't just a matter of, okay, I'm going to pick the day that's going to be the busiest because it's not just the energy of you picking the day that's going to be the busiest. It is also the energy that you're putting in. Now, any of you listening that have those days where you just go, I don't really want to be at clinic today. And all of a sudden you manifest every cancellation that you needed to actually have that day off. I would love to hear if you're listening, if that's the case for you. Hey Lou, hey Amanda. So this is the interesting thing, right? Um, <laughs> you can totally manifest having a day off. And if you are not 100% all in on that um, particular day, if you're not going, okay, yes, Saturday is the day, then you have just as much uh, capacity and energy in that decision of whether or not that day will work. Uh, and so that's exactly what I was doing when I was uh, practicing on a Saturday in those first couple of years. Uh, well, I think it was actually only in the first year. And then I realized what was happening because it started happening on other days as well. The ones where I didn't want to actually be there, I would energetically shift whether or not somebody was going to come in. And I'm certain it happens to um, some of you guys that are listening. So I think there is three different parts of um, what you need to consider when you want to think about the day that you want to work in clinic or the best, most busiest day in clinic. So number one is 
does it work for you? Now, I could have said, does it work for your um, ideal client? And we'll get to that. But the number one point is, does it work for you? Because as much as it could work for having a full day on the books, if it's not working for you energetically, you're going to repel those people not to book in. If it doesn't work for you, then there is some type of energy that goes along with that, that shifts the way that you show up on that day as well. Does it work for you in that are you missing family things? Are you considering um, working at another clinic on another day and another clinic? And if you're not all in on the decision, then it's very likely that the clients won't show up anyway. So it doesn't really matter which day you choose. If you're not personally all in on it, then it's not going to necessarily have the longevity of you being open for that particular day, filling it in those particular ways. Um, So number two is what works for your ideal client. Now this one stands out every single time somebody asks me this of what day of clinic is the busiest. Well, how on earth are you going to tell for that particular, when a practitioner says, yes, Thursday worked for me. And I just answered this same question to somebody this morning because I had a second to answer one, a one word answer. And I went, Thursday. Like there are so many more factors other than Thursday that play a role in that. One, Thursday worked for me because I had it already in my mind that um, Australians in particular love a thir- late night shopping on a Thursday. And I grew up with late night shopping on a Thursday. So I'd be really prepared for a big Thursday energetically in my mind and everything else. I would set up myself for a big Thursday. And if I set up myself for a big Thursday and I was all in on that Thursday, I would get walk-ins, I would get, um, you know, Thursday was always my one that was completely booked out in the evenings, things like that. But that's because it was me. I've had other practitioners who say that Monday is like cranking, Wednesday is the most amazing day, Fridays because the people in their local area are X, Y or Z and Saturdays are extraordinary. Now, I... I have other practitioners that open on Saturdays and get crickets in the same way that I did because energetically I wasn't there. So um, the, the other part of that is what about your ideal target market? What about the people in your area? Now, if you're in a small country town, it's an entirely different experience. Saturdays and Sundays are family days. They are hanging out days. They are going to the cricket. They are going to this. They are going to that. There is a very different community vibe that happens on the weekend that might not constitute them thinking, okay, I've got to go and see my health practitioner. Now, if you're in a big city, on the other hand, you could say that Saturday is your big day because all of the people who are in uh, working nine to five all week would prefer to see you on a Saturday. So it really depends on your particular target market, your particular environment that you live in, your particular area that your clinic is based, the business model of your clinic. There are so many more facets to that second part of it. So part of it's you. And part of it's your the person that you would love to see. Now, the little caveat about the person you would love to see, for starters, they might live in your local area. And so um, it's easy for us to make assumptions about what our ideal client would actually be like and what they would prefer. And, what, and it's an entirely other uh, experience to ask them, to send out a survey, to um, experiment and to see what days work and to see how people respond to different days. Now, if you don't have the leeway for that and you can only pick one particular um, day, then you need to really ask them because we make assumptions about how much people are willing to pay on the, or how much they're willing to value their health, how much they are willing to pay for a program, how, much, how many supplements that they can afford. We don't have any idea what they are actually up to. Um, I am reminded as well about people who are deciding whether or not they should spread themselves nice and thinly across multiple different clinics and not necessarily go all in on one clinic. Um, because um, Tanya had an amazing story about that 
that when you go deep into one day or when you go deep into one clinic, it gives you an entirely different experience and them an entirely different experience because you're showing up so much in that one space that more people are attracted to that. So um, when it comes to your ideal client, you need to know them, not assume you know them. You need to know them and get into their shoes and go, yep, this particular day would work. Now, if you're somebody who is treating uh, mums in particular, then you want to be making sure that you can fit things in um, that are going to be in that schedule, you know, things that aren't going to be in the um you know, the family time and things like that. If you're treating kids, then you want to be making sure that you've got after school hours uh, types of appointments available. If you're treating uh, business people, again, you want to be having uh, at least one day of the week where you are after a five o'clock type of time. So you need to consider number one, you. Will it work for you now and will it work for you in the long term and are you energetically aligned with that particular day or is it going, are you going to essentially energetically sabotage it? Two, what works for your client? What works for your ideal client? If you don't have an ideal client, what works for your general area where your clinic actually is? And if you are online, what works there? You know, what works for a lot of people is it might not be dinner time, for instance, to do their Skype call. It might be a different time of the day. So see what works for your particular client and do it through asking them, not through assuming you know them. Okay, number three, where your attention goes, energy flows. Now, the interesting thing about this is every single time somebody asks on uh, in some of the Facebook groups or asks me personally, um, what day is the busiest in clinic, wherever your attention goes, energy flows. So if your attention is heading over to Thursday, for instance, all you're going to see is the Thursdays that come up. If your attention is going to Saturday, all you're going to see is the Saturdays that come up. You know, it's a lot like square peg, square hole, all you can see. You know, when you go for finding your, you know, you have an idea about your brand new car in mind and all of a sudden all you can see is that particular car. So if you've got an idea, if there's an energy around it already, it's time to head towards that particular day. Um, the other one about where your attention goes, energy flows, is when your attention is on that particular day, if your attention is on that particular clinic. Now, I'm, I'm using the other example is, is it's not just a particular day. It could be that you're spreading yourself over multiple clinics. It could be that you're spreading yourself um, over different clinics to see what happens or um, because you get a better um, return in one particular clinic, you've got a better deal with some particular Cairo or some other, other place that you're working. When you are all in on something, when you are 100%, you get 100% back. When you're like 20% here and 20% there and 20% here and 20% there, you only get 20% back. Now, if you are going all in because you know that this particular day is going to work in alignment with you, in alignment with your ideal client and you are all in on it, it changes completely. If you're like, ah, oh, I don't know, that clinic, I don't think those particular people like me. Ah, oh, I had that clinic. They don't really have the exact right things set up for me. Ah, oh, you know, I don't like moving all my furniture around. Ah, oh, I don't like. You're not 100% all in, but as soon as you get all in, it changes completely. You can show up in a way that is confident, that is um, on it, that is looking for opportunities. It's an entirely different experience for when you are all in. Again, it's that thing about not spreading yourself too thin, going, okay, I can work nine to five Monday to Friday or nine to five Monday to Saturday and that'll be fine. And then you wonder why you've only got one or two clients in a week versus I'm going to be 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on a Wednesday and that's it. And you can see all the bookings fill up on top of one another because you're all in. Everyone knows you're the Wednesday um, naturopath. Everyone knows how to connect with you. It, it's available online. Make sure that everybody knows. It's an entirely different experience to um, 
spreading yourself thin and instead just going all in. <laughs> so it was a discussion I really wanted to have with you guys and I'm hoping that it has been valuable. Uh, either if you are looking for a particular day of the week that is the busiest um, or the best, it's a, such a much more multifaceted question. And which particular clinic should I stick with is a much more multifaceted question than a one-word answer of Thursday <laughs> or, um, you know, the one in the city or the one in the country or the one, whatever it is, take the time to really connect with, is it in alignment with you? Is it in alignment with you? Can you feel it? Is there different signs that are telling you that this is the thing that's useful, this is the day or the clinic that's useful for you? Number two, is it in alignment with your ideal client? Now, remember, I've, I've done an ideal client video before and I've got an ideal client download at tammyguest.com backslash resources and your ideal client if you get to know them oh my goodness it's just so much easier to choose a day it's so much easier to choose things because it's in alignment with them but you really need to know them and not just assume uh, what is best for them so is it in alignment with you is it in alignment with your ideal client and take the time to really get to know them and know where they like to hang out and what day of the week that they have free to come and see you, what day that you are on, what day that they're on, and then bang, where your attention goes, energy flows. So hopefully this has been beneficial. If it has, and you are deciding between, oh, well, I've kind of been spreading myself a little bit thin between multiple clinics or multiple days, what would happen if you took the action today, an inspired action from this conversation, to focus on one particular day and see what happens, say, over the next month, see what results you could get from really truly focusing in on what's in alignment with you, your ideal client, and your, focusing your attention and your energy so that you get the energy flowing through, flowing through clients, flowing through cash, and throwing, flowing through consultations. All right, hopefully this has been beneficial and if it has and you know somebody else who missed this, make sure that you tag them or send it to them and uh, I'll catch you next week for another Training Thursday. All right, see you later. Bye.